Hey there, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, flying the UDB nav system over the internet. Uh, first I'll do a, a manual flight type of thing. Uh, here's the plane. Uh, it's empty right now. It just has two servos and then we got a pair of, pair of servos on here, but those are just uh, tied together here, so it's just uh, one line. Um, we have the the UDB here, uh, this is actually a pretty stock, the only thing that's changed is uh, serial data going in overrides the PWM input values. We have the standard GPS there, and then a battery which is just going through a motor controller which is not hooked up, just for uh, battery regulation. So um, over here we have the serial data going through the FTDI, going over to this big mess of wires, into a laptop, to a little program I wrote and you can't really read what it says but as you move this joystick around um, the values on the screen there are moving so you can see right there it matches up the rudder and the ailerons and all that kind of stuff they they're matching on here um, also when you move the joystick around you get uh, different values I got plus or minus uh, 100 percent there plus it shows the the actual PWM values that are being overwritten into the plane. So then we'll go over to output to the COM port. And then now, as I'm with the joystick, we have instant movement on the plane. So this is this is as fast as it gets. This is um, the software's talk, joystick's talking to the software, talking to the serial port, right in there. And so up and down, yada yada, move this around, get to rudder, that kind of stuff. Um, so, now instead of a hard line, we're going to go through the internet. And that is going to be done through this phone, uh, Nexus One. And it's going to be done, since the IP library doesn't like the DSPIC 30, uh, we're going to add in DSPIC 33, which is the, uh, this is the starter board. And also it has this little board, the MRF 24 WB something something 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. Uh, Device. And this is just on one of these little boards that Microchip has, the expansion board. And I've hooked up uh, 5 volts from the UDB and then uh, ground and serial data. So it looks like that. Got the little wire here. And all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to unplug this guy. So we take the uh, serial data off there. We're going to walk over here and oh, and we're going to plug that in and then what happens is over here on the phone <clears throat> you'll notice that it's uh, the middle lights not blinking right now um, go over here to this little app the uh, Android tether and let's start that up and you'll notice that this little guy will uh, start blinking and we'll get it connect Bing. We got a connection there. Okay, so now we're connected, and so now we're talking over the internet. So using this little program, I'm actually gonna close it here just for fun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, enable server, and when I do that, it tells me what my uh, my outside IP is. My uh, I'm a dynamic name service, so the plane's actually trying to talk to the uh, 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 a DNS name, which is forwarding to this computer. So it tells me what my, my public IP is and all that. And up here it says connected, so we're connected. So let's look at that data, and we're getting the regular uh, data. It's all over TCP now. A better way of doing it is UDP, but uh, it's just TCP for now. Um, so we're getting all that. And then I'm going to click this uh, joystick out. So now, when I move the joystick, I get kind of a delay to it, but hey, it's doing it. And that's actually backwards, but oh no, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and then the same with the rudder. Little guy around. So yeah, you get a half a second, upwards of a second or so. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, open up the Happy Kilmore goodie here, GCS ground control system. And um, because it only uh, because it only opens or accepts uh, serial data. We're going to output joystick data to the serial port on COM29. And we're here going to set this up for COM1. 
Connect. Okay. So now we're just we got a bunch of data coming out here, and this guy's just waiting to receive it. So I'm gonna just loop through here. So that means I'm gonna do uh, that. And so now, uh, one's transmitting, one's receiving. So it's just one way. So this software is just forwarding data to this software. And here we are. So it shows us here at uh, on Google Earth. So we can move around there and show us where our home is. <clears throat> now also, uh, we can get the uh, serial data. Uh, it's coming in. Uh, so this is, this is off the internet as well. It's still going through the phone. Let's look back at the phone here. Uh, let's see, data rates, I uh, can't quite read this. This is 120K and 260K there, so we're uploading about twice as fast. We're uploading at, I believe it's 10 hertz, and we're downloading at 4 hertz. Uh, so we're uploading the uh, joystick information, which is smaller data, but it's just more often. And I think we're actually having a lot of drop packets on the TCP downlink, too. But um, 